Hey there, it's Beth and from Mark Your Notebook and I'm up with another journal with me video. I'm working in an A5 Tomoe River dot grid notebook from the shop and I'm really trying to get back into the practice of just creating. <clears throat> um, you know, with everything that has happened in our world, it is something that has been lost from me for a long time, but it is something that just makes my heart happy. So I'm really making a effort to get back into it. And I hope that by me posting these videos, that if it's something that you love to do, that it's inspiring you to create as well. So I have a bunch of stuff on my desk, if you can tell from the video. <laughs> But I do have a bunch of like, I guess you could say art journaling pieces that are on my desk. And this big old leaf is from, um, I think it's a Somerset magazine um, that I cut out. And it's been sitting on my desk forever. And I have tried several times to get this leaf into some type of layout. And... It just seemed to work really well with this one. And then I have these phrases. Um, these words are from Calico Collage, which I absolutely love all of her stuff. Um, and I will definitely leave a link below. Uh, they're all principles. And the best thing about principles is that you can use them all up and reprint them again. So I cut that out from those words, love yourself unconditionally. And I stuck everything down with my um, little double-sided adhesive tape runner by Kokio. It's the dot liner. Love this thing. And now I'm like, what am I going to do with this other side? Because I have no clue. Um, you can see here I have a paint palette here of like some of my most favorite colors. And so I just spritz that with some water. Um, if you don't know... I work and create down in my basement and there's no sink down here of any type. There's no water source, um, which is one of the reasons why I find it so hard to create because I have to go upstairs in order to get water so that I can use it for my arting. So it's a little bit of a pain. So I literally just grabbed like a, a water bottle that was laying around that had a tiny bit of water left in it. And that's what I'm using here to get this paint on the page. So this is a Daniel Smith color turquoise um, color that I absolutely love. I think it's like phalo turquoise. I'm not 100% sure, but I love it. I love the phalos. Um, I, they're just such like a deep, vibrant color. So you can see here, like I really went in with like the deepness of the color on the side there. And it's just such a pretty color. And you can see the range of color that you get with it. Like this really light turquoise wash to this really dark turquoise. So pretty. So then I'm zapping this with my heat gun. The trick with a heat gun into Moe paper is to really keep your heat gun moving, like a lot, um, because to Moe paper can burn very quickly. Ask me how I know. So you really, really do have to keep it moving a lot, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just I'm moving the heat gun a ton and um, making sure that this is dry because I want to go ahead and move forward with more stuff. Um, at first, I was going to use my light modeling paste from Prima, which I happen to love this stuff, but I didn't feel that I was going to get the crispness that I wanted through my stencil, so I end up not using that, and you're going to see that here in a second. I'm, going, I'm looking for a stencil right now, um, and I chose this heart stencil that's been in my stash for like ever. And you see, I even put it on and I'm like, mm, nope, nope. I just felt like it was going to seep underneath the stencil and I wanted more of a crisp, um, a crisp impression. 
And then, so I have this Nuvo Crackle Mousse. What is this stuff? Uh, let me tell you. It is Crackle Mousse. You can hear me digging around in here. Um, yeah, just Crackle Mousse in Celestial Blue. So it's really, really pretty, as you're going to see here. And it's a nice texture. So I'm definitely going to look into some more Nuvo products. I happen to be really digging them and loving them so much. Um, and with December Daily coming up, I want to see what else is available to me. So I'm going to go check that out. So I stuck that through the stencil. And then I had really wanted to add another heart, but it wasn't dry. And I didn't want to smush anything down. So I left it alone. Yep. There you go. I'm like, mm, no, no. So I left that alone. And then I kind of like spread out. Excuse me, I sneezed. <laughs> I kind of spread out some Nouveau Mousse on the other side. Um, and throughout this side, like I scraped that up because it did seep through a little bit. But I was able to really clean that up. So I was very happy about that. And then I just scraped some of this Crackle Mousse everywhere. And let me tell you, when it dries, it has such a beautiful crackle effect. It is stunning. Um, very, very impressed. The cracks that you get with this Nouveau Crackle Mousse is amazing. And what I was most amazed about is usually with a Crackle Mousse, you have to put like a really thick layer on to get substantial cracks. And with this stuff... You don't. Even the thin layers on my page have these beautiful cracks in them. It's really, really quite stunning. So it is definitely a product that I suggest that you get your hands on. All right. So then um, I'm cleaning off my palette knife because with any type of mixed media product like this, it's really important to clean off everything because if it hardens on your stencil or on your palette knife, then you've got a problem. So I cleaned that off with a baby wipe real quick. Again, like I said, I have no water down here, so a baby wipe uh, was able to do the trick. And I have to say that this Nuvo Mousse cleaned up really well too. I had grabbed my Stabilo Marks All pencil, um, but I decided I, that's not what I wanted. Um, and then I grabbed my oil pastels. I have a few, I have like four that I had grabbed at the art supply store. Um, but I decided those were not what I wanted. So what I ended up grabbing were these, I have a few of these Prismacolor New Pastels, and they're like a chart, chalk, chalk, can I talk? So I did some mark making with these things. Um, they are not permanent on my page, but I don't care. I don't feel that they're going to smudge around too much when I close the page. Um, but we'll see. And then the last little thing here is I dug through my rest of my stash and I felt a couple of felt stars that I adhered with my, um, glitter, uh, art glitter glue. And that's it for me. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, art journal spread that I did here. Again, I'm using the A5 Tomoe River Notebook in case you're wondering what kind of notebook it is. And um, that's it. I will leave you. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me and my shop and my channel. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.